Hello friends, this is April and today we are going to be spending an entire day at one of the best theme parks in the world, Universal Studio Japan. I just booked my Universal Studio ticket, Universal Studio Japan tickets, Osaka. So actually, not gonna lie, initially I was thinking of skipping this entire itinerary into Universal Studio Japan. Mainly of two reasons. One, I've gone to its train before already. Second, I've already gone to Universal Studio alone and I'm actually not quite sure if I wanted to do it again. What changed my mind? This Mario Land actually is Super Nintendo World. One of the first games I've ever played and I just really wanted to go. So yeah, tomorrow we are going to Universal Studio. I'll probably make a video. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. We are at Universal Studios. Honey had like four hours of sleep, but surviving on this today. Oh, that looks fun. Yeah, I want to do that first. Here's my very first ride for the day. Flying dinosaur. It's a little crazy. Okay, the in Jurassic Park flying dinosaur is a roller coaster ride. Some crazy twists and turns. I'm gonna lie, I was actually kind of scared, but the wait time in the morning was just 10 minutes. And if you're interested in this ride, do definitely come in early. scary as I thought, not the worst roller coaster ride I've taken. Now the queue time is 15 minutes. Just now it was like 10 minutes. Alright, let's head to Mario then now. For my so to enter the uh, Super Nintendo world, you need a time area ticket. Mine's 9-10, now it's 9. Okay, let's go in. Nintendo World was like walking straight into Mario's universe and if you ever played Mario the moment you step in it looks exactly like the game where you will find many familiar characters and the attention to detail was impeccable. The queue for popcorn is insane. In Nintendo World you will actually find two rides so this is the first one we are riding Koopa's Challenge. It's a 3D ride where you are handed these VR glasses. wrapping up the ride. I will definitely pass by the strategically placed Mario shop. And if I were to sum it up to one sentence, this is one place that seriously makes you feel like splurging some good money. So much stuff which I feel like getting. Oh my god, I think it's so cute. When I see Koopa, I think of pictures, pictures, pictures. This just makes you feel like you want to go crazy with the shopping. So cute. In fact, I might have also developed a bit of obsession with trying out all the cool headbands they have in the park. We're gonna get this. Let's go! Yoshi's adventure and once again the waiting area has lots of detail to keep you entertained. Very long wait. My legs is literally breaking Thank you. 
right that's really fast it's so fun ah, i love mario land i love mario land this one? And one melon. Melon last year. Melon last year one? Yeah. I'm sitting in the random corner of the... I'm sitting at a random corner of the Nintendo world. And there's a lot of people sitting here. Spaghetti in a bun. This is Yoshi's last year. It's not melon now. It's got a little bit sweet though. After finishing up my food, I decided to head to Water World 1 because it started to rain second. And only one of those rides, even though I've seen a couple of times, but I still want to visit every time I go to a Universal Studio. Okay, the rain has gone. It's like the rain has gone. Originally, my plan was to take the rides in Harry Potter with what I thought was going to be just a light drizzle. Kind of proved to be quite wrong. The weather is honestly not the best. Not in part. Since I'm already here, I thought that I still wanted to try out my luck. The Hippogriff ride that's like a roller coaster ride, but not that scary. It started to rain pretty crazily while I was waiting. So eventually I decided to make a U-turn to a nearby shop to get a raincoat. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I have an umbrella. It's crazy rain. Can I buy it? Of course the raincoat was Harry Potter theme. Tap. This is called Universal Wonderland and choosing to visit turned out to be a great decision. Especially during a day like this. There were lots of shelters and with the cutest characters in the entire park. It's cute! Oh, this is cute! Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is 4,300. A little expensive. Oh, this is cute. And this balloon thingy looks fun. We are gonna ride this balloon balloon. Cute balloon thingy. Camera 
Minions Land begin to notice the skies begin to turn visibly darker. But the good news is it also became a lot less crowded, and so is the queue for the rides. So that made me decide to try out the Minions Mayhem ride. So this was an entirely immersive ride where you turn into the Minions. Although the plot was in Japanese, surprisingly, understanding the plot wasn't much of an issue. So it's a fun ride for anyone looking for some adventure without it being too intense. <laughs> Dark After finishing my ride at Minions Land, I decided to head back to the busy main street which was also home to the Spider-Man ride but also one of the oldest rides in the entire park. Sadly, as some of you might have heard, Spider-Man ride is actually headed for permanent closure in the new year. Seems highly likely that this might also be my final farewell to our friendly Spider-Man. Oh, I said initially I wanted to skip this entire theme park during my visit so I thought this is a good time to talk about my thoughts about the theme park if it's actually worth visiting. Initially I wasn't sure if I should come mainly because of reasons why theme parks are often considered to be overrated. I queue for the rides and to be honest the headbands are cute but it's a little bit expensive. Yeah a lot went down lines, big crowds, and a few really unlucky moments. At the same time, stepping into Universal Studio felt like transported to another time and space. Everyone's so happy and of course it's thanks to the team members who was top notch, super friendly and helpful. As some might say, this is Japan service at its finest. I just had a really good time to be honest. I didn't want to leave so. This is definitely a part I will return for. Next time, perhaps allocating more time to it and getting the fast pass. Alright, let's go back. Oh, USG is the best. Seriously. My final review is totally worth it. Click here for another video you because you took things that is one which you really enjoy. Already made it to the end, so why not? Another video for you to enjoy your day with. Okay, click for another one. Yep. <laughs>